guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf book tag. I saw this tag over on Hardback Quarters channel and I decided, hey, I'm going to do it. Um, I will link Allie's video and the original creator's video down below. So I have the questions and so let's just jump on in. So question number one. How many bookshelves do you have? I have two in my room, this one, this one, and then I'm going to count my cookbook shelf and Sammy and Ari and Addie's bookshelves too. So overall I got seven bookshelves. Question number two is how many books are on your bookshelves or how many books do you think you have? I counted and on just my bookshelves alone I have over 350 books so all in total I there's over 400 books in this house question number three how do you organize your books I have my favorites and some of my arcs that I was sent in the early stages of me getting into reading constantly in my room. I have my bookshelves and my uh, my cookbooks in my kitchen and these just hold my excess. So, but I don't really like categorize my bookshelves. I just throw them on there. So, what is the oldest book on your shelf? Has to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I got my first Harry Potter book when I was in second grade. It came out in 1997. I was in second grade and I went to the school book fair and my dad bought it for me. I didn't read it until I was in fourth grade <laughs> but he knew how popular it was getting and so yeah. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is my oldest book. What is the newest book on your bookshelf? And it is hmm. let's go with my plain Jane I got this in the July owl crate and I bought it as a pass box okay question number six what is the longest book on your shelf and that has to be this hunk of book right here Stephen King under the dome and I could have killed myself just now this is uh, 1074 pages and I've read it and let's just say I watched the first five seconds of the show nothing like it okay question number seven what is the shortest book on your bookshelf uh -huh. Um, uh, I think it is the second life of Bree Tanner, the, uh, one of the novella in the Twilight Saga. I will get it down, but I'm not gonna. So I will put a picture on the screen right here of the cover. Question number eight, what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf? YA is the main genre, but the subgenre in YA would be contemporary. Okay. Question number nine. Have you done a bookshelf tour? I will be doing a bookshelf tour before the end of the year. And I will try to do it over Thanksgiving break and put it out sometime after Christmas. Question number 10. Go on a random generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number. Better than that. Sam, come here. I'll get Sammy to pick a number. Hold on. So, I had Sammy pick a number. It was 30. And the book that corresponded with that number was this one. It is Island Book One Shipwreck. And I have read this back in 5th grade. I haven't finished the series and I've read some of his other books and I kind of think this is the shortest book on my shelf 
because it's only 129 pages. But yeah, this is the book that corresponded with the number saying you gave me. Question number 12. Show us your bookshelf. Okay. Pick y'all up. Woo! Hello. Okay. Woo! There you go. <coughs> Excuse you! Okay, and here's the rest of my bookshelves. This is my catch-all shelf. Like, when I get done filming hauls and getting book mail, this is where I just throw the books. I haven't done anything for these shelves. Oh, okay. And so, number 13 is tag somebody. I tag Strawberries Almost Human Diary. I tag Melissa and Barnsey Reed. Alex Black. And, uh, Amanda Joy. And... Court the reader if she hasn't done this yet. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 100. Or I may be surpassed 100 by the time this video goes up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!